So if you're interested in stream flow data in the US, the US Geological Survey or USGS is the place to go. So if you Google USGS water data, you'll follow the first link and you get to a site that looks like this. I'm going to show you two different ways to find the information you might be looking for. So let's say you have a pretty good idea of where you're interested in and you want current data. That would be the most common situation. Maybe you even want to narrow your geographic area immediately to a particular state. So let's choose Ohio. We're seeing the same thing just for Ohio and we can search for sites within Ohio. Let's just start with the current conditions ones. So if we are interested in current conditions in Ohio, we get to this site. Uh, one of the cool things about this site is you can kind of see how wet the state is at a glance. So all of the green dots here are gauges that are between the 25th and 75th percentile. So that's where they hang out 50% of the time. And you can see that most of our state right now is in that pretty normal range. So you could try to use this map to click on the gauge that you're interested in, but that can be a little tricky, particularly say if you're in an area with a lot of gauges. Um, so the other thing you can do is go over here and click on this current conditions table for stream flow. All right. So this tells us that right now the USGS is gauging 318 sites in Ohio for Streamflow. Maybe you know exactly what your station number is, your, your gauge number, or your station name, so you could just scroll down through this. However, you could also sort the table. So if you sort by major river basin in Ohio, you just get the Ohio River versus the Great Lakes. That's a pretty big geographic scope. So you might find it helpful to sort your gauges by county or by hydrologic unit, which is just a fancy way of saying a smaller watershed. So let's do that hydrologic unit. Okay, so now we've got these headings for the hydrologic unit and then just gauge down below each one. So we could scroll down here, see the various watersheds. Okay, let's look at the Cuyahoga River watershed because that's our local watershed. So all of this set of gauges is uh, the Cuyahoga River watershed current gauges. So if we're interested in something on the main stem of the river, we're gonna look for one like the Cuyahoga River. Let's do the Cuyahoga River at Jate. Okay, so we'll click on the gauge number to take us to more information about that particular gauge. Now let's back up for a moment. I was going to show you two ways to get the data. Uh, so I already showed you how to get data using the current conditions, but maybe you're also interested in sites that may have existed at some point in the past, but may or may not exist now. Um, so again, let's just narrow our focus to Ohio. It works the same for every state and territory. All right, now we're gonna go down to um, site information, but okay, let's go down to surface water. Uh, so that's, we're really interested in conditions in surface water. Um, we can see there's 318 sites with current conditions, 457 sites with historical observations since October 1st, 2007 but a total of 575 sites that the USGS has gauged at some point in time in history um, that has daily data for it. So let's click on this daily data one for now. Okay, so we're in Ohio. We might be interested in knowing um, all of the sites that have ever existed uh, in the Cuyahoga River watershed, or let's just stick with on the main stem of the Cuyahoga River. So we know that the Cuyahoga River flows through multiple counties. So we're gonna not use county. Um, maybe we could use hydrologic unit by name. And uh, let's put site name in as a search. Okay, submit. Okay, so we're gonna assume that if it's on the main stem of the Cuyahoga River, 
that it's going to start with the word Cuyahoga. Right. And just to make sure there isn't a Cuyahoga hanging out someplace else, we're going to select this hydrologic unit code Cuyahoga. All right. We'll just leave the site type pretty broad. It's Ohio. We know we're not looking at an ocean. Um, you could narrow it further by all of these flow parameters and water quality parameters. There are options down here, but let's just go ahead and scroll all the way down and hit submit. All right. So now we have a list of sites that have existed with streamflow daily data on the Cuyahoga River. We don't know when they existed. We don't know how many measurements they were made. We didn't search and narrow our search on those things, but we can see this whole list of gauges. If you want to know what's happening at Jate in the National Park, we can click on this site number here and land on the, in this case, the daily data for the Cuyahoga River at Jate.